we are starting the course with a very simple project to warm you up and to check if you are familiar a little bit with After Effects. If not, don't worry, I'll try to explain everything step by step and I'll explain the things I do along the way. So once you arrive in After Effects, in order to make your first project, click here to create a new composition. I'll create a new composition. You need to set the size for the composition, the frame rate and the duration. I'll set a lower size, let's say 1000 pixels on 1000 pixels. Usually we work in HD 1920 on 1080, but let's make it 1000 per 1000 for this video, 30 frame rates and duration three and a dot. This will indicate three seconds. I will come closer to show you my composition. Then I'll go to my project files and I'll import a sample logo. Please use any PNG file you have on your computer. This can be an icon or really anything. So I'll import this here. Let's say this is the logo I would like to animate. I'll drag the logo inside my composition, inside my timeline. I see it's too big, so I want to make it smaller. I'll hold the shift key and I'll draw it smaller until it has the right size. You can also press here, press S and work with the scale. It can be resized like this as well. Okay, I have my logo prepared. Now I want a background, a white or black background. So I'll right click here, I'll select new and I'll select a solid. A solid is just a layer which will fill out the entire composition with a color. You can select the color you want here. Let's maybe go, maybe black this time, black or gray like this. Okay and okay. Of course the gray solid needs to be moved as the last one because the logo should display first and the gray one should display it second. This is the basis for our animations. Let us now work on the keyframes. I'll click here and I'll press P like position. You can see I have my X value, I have my Y value, but I do not have a third value. If you want a third value and you want the logo come closer towards you or further away, you need to enable 3D for this layer. I'll enable 3D and now I can come closer and further with it because I want to work with this keyframe. By having the playhead here, please click on the little stopwatch to open up a position keyframe. And this is our first position of this logo. I'll drag this out as long as I don't see this logo. You can hold the shift key to make it faster. Okay? Negative 1500. Let's make it even negative 1500. This is the first keyframe. And 10 frames forward or 20 frames forward, this is where another keyframe will be set. I'll go back with this value. Let me come back simply to zero and this will be my first animation. You can preview this animation by going with the playhead to the beginning and hitting space. Boom. Okay, the first boring, very, very normal animation is on. Okay, boom. Now as the animation progresses, I would like this to fade out. So I'll press Shift and T to as well open the opacity and another time I'll enter a keyframe here. So you see in After Effects you always work with keyframes, which indicate change over time. This keyframe has one value, this keyframe has another value and those keyframes interpolate between them to change the value from negative 1500 to zero. I'll do the same with the opacity. Opacity means visibility. So I have 100% of visibility here, but a bit more further at 20 frames here, I do not want to see the logo at all. So this will be a very simple fade out. This is how our logo animation would look like now. I press play. A very, very simple logo animation. We could make it a little better by taking these keyframes, pressing Ctrl C. Going here, pressing Ctrl V, because I copied those keyframes, but I need to reverse them. You can reverse them very simply, right click, keyframe assistant, and the last option here, time reverse keyframes. This will reverse those keyframes and will reverse this animation. And now we have a second animation where both keyframes kick in, the position keyframe and the opacity keyframe. Let's make the opacity keyframes closer because I want it to disappear just as it starts Okay, perfect. Now, this is what I wanted to teach you for the first logo animation you probably ever made. If you made some animations previously, then good job. If not, 
this is a way of making your first simplest logo animation in the world. You see, it's not fancy, it's not complicated, but it still adds something to your video. You could, for example, place it in front of your videos as a very, very simple branding opener. It's better than nothing. There will be, of course, more complicated and more sophisticated in terms of the animation because, because in this course I want to teach you animation and overall design thinking about logo animations while sharing a lot of After Effects tips, tricks and practices. Thank you very much for listening to this introductory lessons. This lesson were a hands-on activity on After Effects and you started the work and now you feel somehow what we are going to do in the rest of the course. If you are curious how to make the next logo animation I've presented in this course, head over to the next lesson where we start the real beef and the real work.